Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Mario, and the YouTube slump is a very deep, dark place. It's, it's okay, maybe I'm ex over-exaggerating, but, you know, it's it's a place where things just aren't going your way, and if you, you're that kind of person that really wants to put in your time to YouTube, that, you know, has dreams, or, you know, just have, you know, the idea of YouTube in your mind 24-7 because you'll love it that much, then sometimes you may deal with the YouTube slump. Now, what is the YouTube slump? Um, you know, to give you a pretty simple idea, it's basically the place where, you know, just things aren't going your way. It's it's a time where shit's just going the wrong way. Slump isn't really a word many people use that often, and I've used it once before in a conversation, like, you know, I'm just in a slump, and then uh, the person I was talking to was like, what the, what, a slump? What are you talking about? And, you know, the thing is, you know, just people go through slumps in everyday things, Besides YouTube, but this video is particularly about YouTube. So the YouTube slump involves things where you can't find topics, you know, you can't find ideas, you just ran out of ideas and things aren't giving you ideas. You know, if you usually sit in the park and uh, just daydream and, you know, let shit hit you from way back of something funny that could happen that you could put in a video or, you know, a commentary or something, it's not working out for you. You know, you're waiting for some inspiration, but it's not happening. If you see a kid fall on his face the day at the playground, you're going to want to commentate over that. But if nothing happens, it's like completely emptiness when you're trying to get in your zone and, you know, find ideas and brainstorm a little. You can't find topics and it leads to the YouTube slump. Other things involve, you know, just you don't feel like uploading. You don't feel like uploading for many reasons because you can't find ideas. You're just not feeling it that day. You don't feel good. You had a bad day, maybe. You know, there's tons of reasons. And another reason is, you know, your viewers aren't providing enough feedback as usual. Uh, they're not watching like they usually do. You know, tons of things happen and come into the, uh, the equation. Uh, it's very simple. Like, you know, out in the world, out there in the YouTube space, for the people that watch your videos, let's say 20 of them are at a football game on Friday and, you know, they forget about, you know, usually uploading a video on Friday and uh, they don't get to watch it till like two weeks later because they've been busy with school and, you know, etc. So it's not just you. It's not just you, the YouTuber, but it's other people too. They get busy and uh, it all seems to pile up and land perfectly by coincidence at the worst possible times when other people are busy too. So, um, you know, these are things that just add on to the fact that you don't feel like uploading. Like, you know, people aren't really watching my videos right now. I don't, I'm not feeling it. It's, you know, I don't have something to uh, make me want to upload. It's not, it's just not happening. Uh, you know, you're getting busy with other things, school, job. A kid if you have a kid um, you know tons of different things that are just coming into the picture you got deadlines in school or at your job um, tons of things you know your your external hard drive with all your stuff for your YouTube videos totally crashes and fucks up and you know there's a ton of numerous variables to why you may get in the YouTube slump um, you know things just maybe not going your way sometimes you know uh, you're editing something, your your software decides to crash, your your cables fuck up on your uh, microphone and it totally fucks up the entire audio for some live gameplay you had in mind of recording, uh, you know, and just things don't go your way. But you know what, if, if you have uh, the drive to want to do YouTube and actually put in the effort that um, you always put in or that you dream of putting in, then you'll get over this YouTube slump. Um, you know, this can go for any other kind of slump, you know, just uh, daily life slump. I don't know what to call them. Uh, just, you know, things that happen around you um, or happen to you. So these things don't always last for like ever and ever, but um, they can be kind of extensive. And, you know, if you want to get over it, just just hang in there, push out videos like, you know, you can and uh, put your, you know, all your effort into it and you'll eventually get over your YouTube slump. I personally... I feel like I may be going through a little mini YouTube slump. I can't say for sure, um, but I definitely don't feel like 100% there. Like, come on, I'm trying to push out a video, make it good, do this and that. And if I don't feel, you know, satisfied with it, I'll delete it. Uh, I won't even upload it. But, you know, you know, maybe not getting all the feedback or all the views that I used to get in some videos. But you know what? I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very small slump. It's a, it's a little baby slump. It's nothing to really complain about, but, you know, I just thought I'd make this um, video to let some people know that, you know, you're not the only people going through a slump 
when it comes to YouTube and you know you got to stay on your YouTube grind if you want to make this you know possible so uh, thanks for watching let me know what you guys think comment down below give me some feedback I'd enjoy it and liking and sharing totally helped me out tremendously thanks for watching and see you in the next one